Matera are doing some really interesting things with their DeFi protocol. They're taking the approach of portfolios, which is pretty different to what you're used to on regular DeFi protocols, such as a decentralized exchange like MinSwap, SundaySwap, et cetera, et cetera. So instead of having a portfolio or, or a liquidity pool that is made up of two uh, tokens, a trading pair, it's made up of group of tokens in a portfolio or something very similar to an exchange traded fund. So speculators in this market can get exposure to a group of tokens that perform in a particular way, like the uh, SMP for example. Now they're also going for projects and tokens that are ESG rated or environmental, sustainable and government uh, uh, protocols that are governed within the Kadana ecosystem. So it's a really interesting way of going through and building together that portfolio but also looking at impact as well. So projects that are actually making change, one of them for example is Empower, that is a really cool example of a project in the Kadana ecosystem that are doing some amazing things and creating real impact on the ground as well. All right, let's get into this interview. I have Daniel from Matera joining me on this episode to talk about his DeFi protocol. It's pretty interesting, a little bit different to what we're used to at the moment. So welcome to the podcast. Thank you very much, Pete. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how you got into crypto and how you found yourself in the Kadana ecosystem? Yeah, of course. I, I used to manage my own money. I, I come from a financial background. I used to manage Forex uh, as a trader in a really small fund. Then I transitioned into crypto with my own money and started to do really well. On the path, I met my now other co-founder and we started managing our own money. And on the previous bull run the, uh, on last year, we started managing other people's money. We became a hedge fund. Right, yeah. okay, that, so, that's pretty cool. But Santiago, my co-founder, really, uh, he had worked on a lot of social projects in Mexico, especially in Oaxaca, uh, the poorest state in Mexico. And he wanted our thesis with the hedge fund to be about sustainability and impact. Yeah. And the, the obvious choice was Cardano. So we were really heavy on investing in Cardano. And we realized there weren't many tools to invest on impact and really measure the impact of cryptocurrencies. Gotcha. And we decided to create our own protocol that measures impact and also creates financial instruments. Okay, all right. Now, you were explaining this to me a little bit earlier before, yeah. and it's a portfolio-based uh, choice of investing, I guess. So that's that's a good way to describe it. Can you, can you explain to users what that actually means? I know you've got that financial background. I don't either. So if you could explain what that means and how it looks yeah. for a user, that'd so, be great. So basically we think well that Indexes are one of the biggest parts of investing in the traditional world. When you see the SP500 or NASDAQ is, uh, investors are used to, instead of going for one asset and diversifying each asset and rebalancing the portfolios, they invest on indexes because they provide better risk management and they also provide better exposure to certain markets. So that's why we think indexes are so important in cryptocurrencies with such a high volatile market and, and we think creating a DeFi protocol that creates indexes and provides this exposure and risk management to certain parts of the markets, it's a really good choice for uh, adoption of cryptocurrencies and also getting people to invest serious money into crypto without having to lose it. Gotcha. Okay. So that's, that's very similar to how I invest uh, uh, fiat currency. I've got like an app. Um, uh, it's called Spaceship in Australia. I think there's Acorns or something in the States. And you just put in a certain amount every month and they invest it into a group of um, shares. Uh, so it, it sounds like exactly the same thing as exactly the same mechanism. The, the, the mechanism in the traditional finance is called an ETF. Yeah. And so let's say the SP500 is a compilation of the 500 companies, technological companies with most value in the market. So when you buy the SP500, you are investing your money in all of those companies. Gotcha. So that's the same with us. You're gonna see a DeFi 
uh, a DeFi portfolio in the Cardano ecosystem, and instead of going and buying each one of the assets and rebalancing, you're gonna buy a token that represents the investment on 20 DeFi protocols. So basically, if the Cardano ecosystem of DeFi grows, your token grows of value, and you can uh, exchange it to ADA in any certain point. Gotcha, okay, so you're gonna have certain portfolios holding different types of assets. Yeah. How do you choose what assets are in each portfolio then? Okay, so that's the thing. We are decentralized, so we want everyone to be able to become a portfolio manager. So let's say you, Pete, you want, uh, you have an investment strategy, you have seen NFTs, uh, certain NFT marketplaces that have its own tokens growing, and you also want to have DeFi protocols in a certain portfolio. So you're gonna create a portfolio and you're gonna be able to bring people in, have them invest in your own strategy, that you're gonna have to openly say what it is, you're gonna have to rebalance the portfolio as well, and you can charge a small fee for the assets under management. So also we as a company are trying to create certain portfolios, certain indexes that are based on impact, because as I yeah. said before, we're trying to do impact, that was our main reason, and we're creating an open source tool to be able to rate the impact or see the impact boots on the ground with crypto assets and create indexes around that, that people know when they're investing, they're doing something good for the world. Yeah, it makes a, it give you a little feel good thing, but actually does have an impact uh, as well. Some yeah, of these but amazing. there's this thing with greenwashing where people is like, yeah, feel good or anything, but I think Time and time again, the world has proven us that uh, we are on a very critical stage with climate change and a lot of social problems, and that these projects that really tend to solve these problems in the long term are gonna be the ones that are really valuable. So that's why we think if we create these indexes and provide the liquidity to those projects, we're gonna help the sector growth, make a change in the world as well, as well but also have a financial impact and gains for our users. Very cool. All right. Now, a little bit earlier, you said that I could make up my own portfolio yes. and uh, tell people that you know this is a good group of assets. You should be a, be able to uh, buy some uh, uh, currency against it. Uh, so anyone can do that. And, Any okay. If anyone can, how does the liquidity come in for each one of the portfolios? Because it, it, it's it's part of the portfolio manager. That's his job now. We're providing the service. Okay, we have the smart contract. We have the platform. You can come in. You can choose which assets and how you want to rebalance them. But now you have to go out there and convince the people to invest in your own strategy. Okay, that's hard. Yeah. That's a hard bit. All right. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Because I'm wondering for your own as well, like uh, um, getting in the liquidity from various projects uh, isn't always that easy. Uh, so getting and convincing people to put their assets into a particular portfolio is going to be quite quite a challenge for yeah. anyone. Yeah. Yes, so of course, it's a challenge, and that's why we want to start uh, bringing portfolios with uh, institutions, let's say. Yeah. Also, asset managers in the real world trying to get into blockchain that really want to start, that also have that credibility and that the people can see and trust them beforehand. And of course, we're going to have tons of users, and maybe, hey, we have the next portfolio manager that's going to make millions and people mm -hmm. find him, he has a really great strategy and liquidity will come to it if he proves that his strategy is the best. Gotcha, okay. So if you target the right asset manager person, then hopefully they'll be able to bring in the liquidity with them as well. Um, the other thing that you said is that uh, the impact portfolios, the ESG rated ones. ESG rated. Uh, there's a lot of uh, financial institution, uh, that type of money, um, coming in the industry at the moment and they are looking for those ESG rated uh, investment channels. So I think definitely if you guys did something around that where you could uh, prove that the, each one of those uh, tokens in the portfolio oh. are ESG rated of some level, uh, they'll be quite interested in that respect and be able to uh, provide yeah, liquidity that way. Of course, and the thing is that they don't know what's being built in Cardano. Yeah. And that's the thing. Shout out to Empower because yeah. that's one example that I really like. It's amazing how a project with NFTs has already grown the market of uh, mortgages in Mozambique 5%. 
Oh, really? Yeah, wow, wow. That, okay, that's, I didn't know yeah, that. So that's, that's Mo stats. Mozambique is a country, I'm not sure about the, the numbers, but mm. 32 million people, less than a thousand uh, mortgages in the whole country, mm. and uh, Empawa is helping grow that market. So we think scaling that and really having boots on the ground and having that impact is going to be really attractive to real institutions with a lot of money that want to get their feet wet into blockchain. Yeah, the, you can definitely see the impact that those yeah. guys are doing. It's, it's something that you can yeah, really you can measure. It. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's what I was about to say. Now, um, this all sounds well and good, but uh, what about developing the smart contracts, developing the site, and everything around it? How are you guys going with that? So we we've been working for almost a year now with a company called M Labs, a really big developing company in Cardano. We have already built a, a first MVP. We we have the smart contract that can create these portfolios, set them aside in vaults and rebalance them as well and emit the token well mint the token that represents the portfolio now we're building um, all the DAO structure behind it we we tried to get funding on fund 9 but in the dApps and integrations we got butchered with the down boats it, oh really yeah wow okay yeah and well we we are still building we are about to release our demo in our app demo where people are going to be able to try the portfolios out and see that and we expect to launch with an ISPO in the next couple of months Okay, Def always uh, multiple different ways of funding. So ISPO, yeah. always a favorite of mine. Like, I, I yeah, really, ISPO, really loves it. Uh, we, we have already worked with some private investors as well. Mm. We, we've been trying to get into some accelerators or VCs as well. So we are, we're exploring a ton of options at the moment. Okay, excellent. All right, so you've, you've got funding possibly down packed. You've got development down packed with the M Labs. That's great. So um, I'm assuming your your side of the team might be a little bit small. It's yourself and who else? Yeah, we are we are from Mexico City. We are six people right now at the team. Besides of the team of M Labs that are all over the world. Yeah. And yeah, we, we're trying to grow the team. Also, we're trying to grow the community and see which people we can bring into. And that's why we are here to meet people and get people on board. It. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, so really good team. You got the financing done. Uh, timeline seems pretty good, but you also need auditing done there as well. Yeah, well, we need auditing. That's the thing. There, there are so many parts uh, that have to be done, but we've encountered that there are so many projects trying to solve those things as well. We're trying to build a DAO uh, with our own uh, protocol, and we've just met Clarity Protocol. They're making DAO tooling, and we are thinking about collaborating with them and getting that out of the way. And we've seen some options for auditing as well. Also, M Labs does some inside auditing when they are writing the code and yeah. we feel pretty confident about it. Yeah, you, you always like to have a third party. A third party, of sorts. Yeah. yeah. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Absolutely brilliant. Where can where can people find out more information, join the community, etc.? Yeah, you can find us on Twitter with Metera Impact Cap. Uh, you can also find us on the webpage, metera.io. Metera.io, all right. Yeah. I'll put all the links in the show notes. Everyone should be able to find it. Yes. And Daniel, thank you so much for thank joining you, me on this interview live at Rare Bloom as well. It's been a pleasure. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much. Like always, links, everything you need in the show notes down below. If you really enjoyed this podcast episode, please give me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click on that notification bell, and you'll hear more from me real soon. See you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.